can never ever find the right words and there's no way this is real life there's no telling you Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to another video. And today we're here with the 435 and the M3, but today we're focusing on the M3. You guys already pretty much surpassed the subscribers. I told you guys to get to 2,500 subscribers. You guys surpassed that within 24 hours, which is absolutely insane. So I didn't just go with some regular seats. I could've went to pick a pool, pay like 25 bucks, 50 bucks to get two regular seats, you know, and that would've been whatever. But it is a get my first giveaway car and I wanna do it right. So I went ahead and got two NRG bucket seats and with the brackets and everything. It's gonna be super sick. Let's go ahead and install it. I really wanna see how it looks. We can finally get some seats in the car. We can finally drive the car because it hasn't had seats for about a week now. And then we got a couple other things to piece the car back together. And I want to make sure this car is as close to perfect as possible before I give it out to one of you guys. I want it to look good before I give it to you guys, at least. At least the best that I can do. So you guys look in the interior real quick. Uh, we got some storage cabinets. I've been needing these guys to put all my car parts. So we're going to go ahead and install this as well. So we got the hardware and the brackets right there. And then we got the two seats, which is absolutely insane. We're going to unbox for y'all. All right, guys, you know what? These seats are going to need a little quick little cinematic. I need to bring over the M3 so you guys can check out. I want to I want to take a thumbnail real quick. All right, guys. So we got the two seats here. The car. Let's go ahead and pull the car inside, and then uh, I finally put in the bucket seats. We have no seats in it. Basically, how we're when we're driving this car, we're literally kneeling. So we have to literally kneel. You can see our shoes kind of already during this area again. We have to clean that again. Um, but yeah, we literally have to kneel to get this thing in and out. I cannot wait. Like this interior is looking so good already. But obviously, you have so much more to do to the car. I want to put in the bucket seats. So let's go ahead and do that. So the first thing we got here is all the brackets and a couple things. I'm wondering if the seat moves frontwards and back. Let's see if everything's included. If not, it is what it is. All right, guys, so this is how the, the bracket actually looks. This looks so good. Unfortunately, it doesn't look like the seats move frontward or back, so I'll have to mount it exactly where I want it, which kind of sucks. It is what it is. Um, so I'm, I put it I put it pretty much how I like it. I think I'm, I'm a pretty average distance away from the pedals, so hopefully the winner of the car isn't too short or isn't too tall. Uh, I, I think I'm right in the middle. So at this point, let's just go ahead and install the bracket. I think there's not really much to it. So something guys I completely forgot is that I'm not gonna be using three-point harnesses um, as for now because I think the three-point harnesses are very expensive. And again, this is I'm kind of trying to build this to the point till at least you guys can enjoy it and then you guys can also modify it down the road, swap it out, trains and everything. Meantime, I need to get these seatbelt tensioners out because uh, yeah, I have to figure out a way to get those out. I really don't know how because the wires are running under, underneath this whole thing here. So I have to figure out how to get those out. Hopefully I can do it. And then uh, we'll move those over to that and then at least we'll be able to have seatbelts and no lights on the dash because that's what I want. All right, guys, after removing two screws from the bottom, I was able to get this all ugly situation. Oh, hell nah. Anywho, do you see the wires that go to the seatbelt tension? I can finally see them. I'm gonna put on some gloves. This is, oh, hell no. But um, <laughs> let me go ahead and get this out. All right, guys, so we got both seatbelt tensioners out, all the wiring and everything, so I can hook it off, and hopefully we have no airbag light. I got the two screws that belong with it. Now let's go ahead and just mount these on the seats themselves, and then uh, mount the seats to the brackets, and then mount the brackets to the car. A lot of stuff. Anywho, start mounting these seatbelt tensioners. Hopefully they line up pretty good. First, the brackets. Brackets first. Alright guys, so I just put the bracket and everything on this one. I haven't done it on the other one. We have to test fit it. We want to see if it works. I don't think this seat moves back anymore, unfortunately. So I, if I was to pretty much keep this or wherever the winner is, I would actually add rails. Um, this is as far back as it goes, unfortunately. And me as a six foot two, it is kind of close up for me. So I wish I could move it back just a little bit more. But yeah, unfortunately it does need rails to uh, move forward and back. But 
As for fitment, it's perfect. I'll show you guys, I was test fitting it, but the camera died, so I have the camera back up. But now Steer is here, and actually some weird news is going on. So I'm not actually gonna continue the seats right now, we're actually heading out to pick up another car. Yeah, I know, as random as that is. Uh, Sear has been saving up for a, pretty much a BMW for the longest time. I finally I finally found him a BMW that he's really wanted. So we're gonna go out, check it out, hopefully everything's good with him, we're gonna hopefully pick it up. And then we'll come back and finish up the seats. Hey guys, so I'm here with Sear. We're shaking bacon. Hopefully gonna be upgrading. <laughs> hopefully, you never know, you know? I like the Corolla though. It's not bad, it's not, um, it's not bad. Oh shit, my, there goes my camera. <laughs> but your, your next level up is a lot better. Hey, shout out keys. Shout out keys. I don't know where. I don't know <laughs> Anyways, we're gonna go down, hopefully check it out. Hope everything's good to go. I brought a little Carly adapter to run the codes. Hopefully everything is good with the car. Shout out Carly. Shout out Carly. And uh, without further ado, we'll catch you guys when we're there. Guys, he's pulling up right here with us. <laughs> Though. Damn! What you think? It's nice. That's you really clean. Dang. Good shit. I'm gonna go check it out, uh -huh. and hopefully everything's well. So we'll let you guys know in a second. All right, guys. So he's driving off with the car. How do you feel, Sierra? I'm sad. I know, dude. So you know that's the thing about life. Like we drove the car. It's perfect. Dude, it was nice. It, it was popped. It had, it had purples and everything. Like, guys, it was $3,500, clean title, really cheap. Yeah. We drove it. The guy was legit. Only thing that wasn't legit was the paperwork, and that's why it was cheap. So you guys always have to, like, think why. There has to be a reason. I called uh, a friend of mine, Ali. He uh, he has his own dealership. I talked to him about it, and he told me there is, a, like, a 95% chance it's not going to be able to be registered, and we're going to have to, like, part it out or something. So it's just not worth it. It's not for you because you want a car. Yeah. You don't even want to risk it. So for us, like, if it was for me, I would have bought it for maybe, like, three, and then, you know, worst comes worst. I'll part it out, but he needs it. That'd be dope. Too. We'll, we'll, we'll we'll look for another car. Anywho, let's get back to the garage and uh, throw in the bucket seats. Oh yeah, we'll see you guys. Later. <laughs> All right, guys, we are back at the garage. Let's go ahead and throw in some bucket seats. It's kind of a mood killer, I know. It's kind of upsetting, but anyways, we're not gonna let that let us down. Hopefully, we can find another one down the road. Oh, shake it, bacon. Did you get it? No. Why? Uh, actually the car was mint. He had the pink slip, but the pink slip was from an auction and he doesn't have paperwork from the auction, so there's no way to register it. It is what it is, guys. But anyways, let's go ahead and sell some bucket seats. <laughs> let's get to it. All right, guys, so I was able to test fit the seat here. That seat's fitting in pretty good too. So the only issue now is, is trying to fit the seatbelt tensioner. So you guys can see, it's not really sitting at a good angle, so I can't actually get the screw lines to line up. Anywho, I'm gonna go ahead and try to figure this out real quick. Oh, hell no. <laughs> so anyways, guys, we're trying to figure out a way we could put that onto there without actually messing up this, because we don't want this to like explode on us while we're driving. So we can play around with this little bracket here. So, uh, how are we gonna do this? Got my little friend over here. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna step back. Parental advisory. <laughs> <laughs> and then still put it on, on the, the inside? inside. Okay. Yeah, I'll try that then. Actually, that, that should make a huge difference. Oh. Yeah, that's it. That's okay. so much better. Okay, cool, guys. So, yeah, all you gotta do is hammer the bracket in. That kind of sucks, but gotta do what you gotta do. Oh, that's a lot. All right. Okay. Good. So, you put some Loctite on that. Loctite on there. Alrighty. Imagine after all this, we, we need to remove it. Well, that's gonna suck. <laughs> <laughs> well, let's hopefully this works. All right, guys, after so much time trying to get those rear screws in there is such a pain. They are officially and it looks so good. It looks like full race car. When you sit inside of it, it feels like a race car. It feels so much nicer. Ah, let's go ahead and put in the second seat. This is gonna be one hell of an adventure. Finally guys, you have both seats in here. It looks so good. Look at this NRG, even has the logo down there as well. But yeah guys, check that out. Finally, everything is in. Actually, let me go. I wanna replace this so badly for you guys. Over the winters, I don't want you to see that. So I'm gonna go ahead and replace that. But yeah, the rest of the interior is really coming together. This looks so sick. Oh my God. Shout out to Jonathan for the detail. Looks so clean. Anyway, I'm gonna take it out for a test spin, wrap it up for the night. But don't worry, it's not the end of this video. I'll catch you guys tomorrow. <laughs> What's up guys? This is day two. Your boy's back at the shop. Jonathan just headed out. And he's 135 that we fixed the other day. So thankfully it's back on 
the road. It just needs a few coding things done, and I'll get on top of my computer and get all the new softwares updated. You guys know I recently purchased a new computer. But anyways, you guys are probably wondering what's going on with that car. That car, the hood is finally coming in on Wednesday. Yeah, so Wednesday. By the time this video goes up, you guys will probably see it probably probably tomorrow, so Saturday. So yeah, by this Wednesday, we should have the hood on the car, and the car, the, the car should be able to go to a body shop and hopefully start getting fixed up because we want to finally see this car back on the road. It's been sitting. We couldn't find a hood. We just decided to go with an M3 style hood. It is what it is. It should look badass. Anyways, we're going to get the E36 M3 in here, wrap it up with a few more mods, and then talk to you guys about a few details on the giveaway. So you guys can see for the most part, the E36 M3 is coming together. We finally got some seats in here. And I think it looks so good. Guys, so for the most part, other than that center console and this little tear here, check out the interior. Like, it's so clean. It's really coming together. Like, this is so sick, especially for one of you guys who's going to be winning the car. If you do a manual swap, and for the most part, we get most of this stuff together, you guys are going to have a really, really nice E36 M3. This is the sickest part. Also, probably a rear seat delete. I mean, honestly, the rear seats were torn up, but at the same time, it, it's really not worth it. I'd rather just do a rear seat delete. So, let me know what you guys think about back here. Meantime, I do have some mods. I have some things to clean up the engine bay, and I have a few things to clean up the outside of the car. Let's start with the engine bay. All right, guys, I just realized you need two people to open up the hood. That's not good. I never said it wasn't a project. It's a project. But the good thing is, it's a clean title. It's a clean example of an E36 M3. Everything is pretty much cosmetic. The engine's been rebuilt. Everything's on the Carfax, which is insane. So pretty much the heart and soul is good, but the rest of it needs to be taken care of. It's super neglected. So anywho, something I really hate on the E36 M3s and E36s in general, all those side markers and the turn signal. So let's go ahead and just replace those. I got, I got some brand new ones. So guys, I got some brand new smoked out turn signals. Signals. These should look a lot better. Let's go ahead and throw these on. Now I know the front end still needs a lot of work, but this is the after, this is the before. I think it already looks 10 times better. Let's go ahead and do that side real quick. And just like that guys, now we have smoked out turn signals. I think these look a lot better. Uh, let's go ahead and get rid of these guys too. I'm not, I'm not really digging it. And just like that guys, I have side markers in, turn signals in, another side marker. So after looking at the car more and more and more, especially from the front end, you guys can see it has a lot of damage, like it, like to the paint itself, like here it's chipping, here it's chipping, mostly to the bumper, it's got a dent here. You know, cosmetically it does need a lot of work, but something like this for me, I don't really, like me personally, I'll probably just end up sanding all that stuff down and wrapping the whole car, and I feel like that would make a better transformation. Unfortunately, to wrap the whole car and sand it all down, it'd probably take me maybe a couple weeks, especially considering I have school going on. But for the in the meantime, I'm doing the best that I can. Anyway, so we got two things to do in the engine bay, and then we're gonna start talking about some details about the car. All right, guys, one of you guys came out and sent me out this M Power engine bay cover. These things run like two to three hundred dollars, which is absolutely insane. Just an engine cover, but since it says M Power, you know it runs an extra two, three hundred bucks. So, anyways, shout out to the subscriber. You met me at my school campus, gave this to me. It's actually in beautiful shape. So let's go ahead and just throw that on. Oh my God, guys, that looks so much better. So all I gotta do now is put in two screws. It's missing the screws. Let's just do that real quick. Guys, check that out. It doesn't look like a mess anymore. Speaking of mess, the only thing that looks like a mess in this engine bay is like this area right here. Let's go ahead and cover that up too. Guys, it's already looking 20 times better, but let's go ahead and just bolt this down real quick. All right, guys, so that's pretty much it. Um, I'm gonna clean this up just a little bit for you guys. But as you guys can see, that's in there. It's just missing one piece down here. It's not a big deal. This thing, it won't come off, so that's good. We got the rest of this stuff, the engine cover, which is, again, like two to 300 bucks, which is insane. So shout out to one of you guys for giving us that to give away to one of you guys. That's awesome. So yeah, that's pretty much that. Let's go ahead and close the hood. We got the new turn signals in, new side markers, bucket seats. It's a project car for sure, but I mean, it's coming together. All right, guys, I just took her out for a spin with Jonathan. It was actually an absolute blast. I really wish it was a manual, but it's still a fun car. That's the thing, an M3 is an M3. It's still the, the heart and soul, the way it drives, it's, it's still an M3 motor. It's it's a joy. So how I'm gonna be announcing the winner, what I'm gonna go ahead and do is go on Instagram live feed. I've never actually went live on Instagram, so I'm gonna be going live to announce the winner for the giveaway. So basically, I'm gonna have this app, it's called a YouTube comment selector, and I'm gonna go ahead and pick out the comments uh, I, mean, it's, it has, I think the video has almost like 2,000 or 3,000 comments. It's absolutely insane. You guys demolish this. Anyways, I'm going to make sure I use YouTube comment selector live on Instagram. So make sure you go follow me on my Instagram. And we'll go ahead and pick out the winner. If he's super far away, he could choose cash. 
if he wants to fly down, that's up to them. But now for the serious business, I did a lot of research on giving away a car, and there's a lot of like legal stuff. So whoever wins the car, I'm just gonna put it out there. It has the smog, it's good for 90 days. It's currently registered under my name, so you have no problem registering. So I'm gonna go ahead and do whoever that wins the giveaway and wants the car, you guys are gonna have to sign a waiver. Basically saying that I'm not liable for whatever that happens to the car. You know, make sure you guys drive it carefully, this, this, and that. There's a lot of legal things, and if he gets in an accident, whoever the winner is gets in an accident, I can be seriously in trouble. And I don't wanna do it. I'm giving away a free car, guys. I'm not even asking you guys to pay to enter. It's completely free. I hope you guys understand why I'm gonna be asking for at least the form. So whoever that wins it, I'm gonna ask you to sign off basically. I'm gonna release a liability. The car is being sold as is. You know, I have no more affiliation with the car. So whoever the winner is, you can come check it out. If you don't want it, I can give you cash, which is 2,500. Or if you want the car, you can come take the car, but it's completely at your own risk. I'm saying it not because I have no confidence in the car. The car is perfectly solid, brand new motor and everything. I'm saying it for legal reason. So I hope you guys understand, I'm really not trying to get screwed over, especially when it comes to giving away a free car. Like I'm doing, I feel like I'm doing a good thing. I, I don't want to get sued because of someone that's being irresponsible. So that's unfortunate reality. So I just got to put that. I got to be a little bit serious in this video. But regardless, if you guys still haven't entered the giveaway, make sure to check out that video right there. Comment down below. If you comment more than once and you, in the YouTube comment selector chooses your name live, I'm going to make sure if you commented more than once, your entry will be revoked. So if you guys have commented like multiple times on the video, go back to the video and delete your other comments. Only have one comment on there because it's so unfair for someone to put like 20 comments and another person only put one comment. So if you guys did blast the comment section, make sure to remove all those other comments because if you do win and I notice that I'm going to type your name and if I see like a bunch of your name in there, I, I can't give it to you. And I have to also make sure you subscribe to my channel, my brother's channel, link down below. So if you guys haven't done that yet, make sure you do that. And that's it guys. Hopefully by the next video, we'll be announcing the winner of the giveaway. Make sure you follow me on Instagram to actually see a live feed of the winner. Instagram's right there. Without further ado guys, I love you guys so much. Remember to stay humble. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out. Yeah, yeah, let's go. I ain't the first with the curse, with the thirst that I wanna be better, not worse. Man, it hurts. I'm on this earth with my words and I put them all together in cert cause I wanna have worth.